Hello guys and welcome back into a new brand video. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create workflows on Slack. So make sure to watch the video to the end and follow these simple steps. So all you will be needing to do now is to simply access your working space and from now you will be able to start creating workflows. And to create workflows, either you can go from to more and from here you can have like uh, automations or workflows uh, like generally. So as you can see here, you can create and find workflows in app so we can click on it and from here you can like uh, go to workflows and from here you can like start creating workflows and from there you can either choose from templates so basically as you can see we will have templates so we can uh, simply choose from templates or we can like creating them from uh, scratch so basically here you will have the name of your workflow and basically let's first uh, see that we can also start creating workflows inside specific channels so we can click on the plus sign from a channel and from there you can choose workflow and you will be able like to either create from scratch or choose any templates so let's just click on create from scratch and it will be the same window you add the name of it from here you can choose like an icon etc from here you choose an event so for example let's just choose from a uh, schedule so either here you can either have it like frequency like to have a daily reminder for example and we want it to start from tomorrow like 8 a.m we click on continue and now we have the starting event now we want like to have the action that we want to use or to happen when uh, this timer starts so for example we want to send a message so let's send a message to a channel and let's choose any channel for example my channel it is agency so i want to send the message hello every time or daily uh, at 8 a.m so now, now we click on save and basically you can add as many steps as you'd like and at the end you will need just to click on finish so basically that's it thank you for watching and see you next time